my god, I forgot the camera! Happy Friday, beautiful people. And you guys, this is what I'm wearing tonight, which is alien, and you know what? I think I oversprayed. As a matter of fact, I know I oversprayed. I sprayed way too much. It seems like it's not sweet enough. I don't know. It's good, um, but I need to sweeten, sweeten it up or something, so you know what I'm gonna reach for. Kayali Vanilla 28. I'm gonna mix the two together and see if I can get what I was going for because this is, it, I mean, it is cold outside. Perhaps I should see how this is gonna do in really cold weather. Well, it's 50. That's cold here. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of Kayali Vanilla 28 and see how that works, but I hope you all are doing well. I just stopped by. I'm on my way out for a quick bite to eat with my guy, and um, I just wanted to let you know what fragrance I was wearing. I've worn this before. Black uh, tights or jeans whatever leggings some boots my cape coat and I oh my gosh I need to go get a bag I need a bag I forgot jewelry I have on Anna Luisa um, radiate jewelry standard rings I don't even have much jewelry on today I need to go put some stuff on so yeah I just wanted to share with you guys this right here do not spray heavy as I should have said this to myself this right here is a beast okay this is a beast and I have the hair perfume and I put on the body um, cream the body cream oh my gosh I mean I am more than purring I am like almost barking so my guy is picking me up and I'm gonna get in the car I just want to hear what he's gonna say so I'll let you guys know and then um, I think I'm gonna be vlogging all weekend but yeah I guess I'm just starting the vlog here don't worry about that in the background but anyways yeah I think I'll be vlogging all weekend so I'm just starting it here so <sighs> welcome back to another vlog I'm loving these vlogs you guys and I'm gonna keep them coming we are going out for a quick bite to eat or to a uh, it's actually 9.30, so this is a late dinner. I told you I like being out late, especially on Friday when it's a long weekend, so this is gonna be um, a way to kick off the weekend and make it longer. But yeah, I just stopped by to share with you my fragrance of the night. So I'll let you guys know if he says anything, because you already know he always has something to say. And I am loving this hair. Oh my gosh, love it. I guess I curled it myself. I told you I don't really like curls, so I just put a little bit of um, like loose curls in it, but... It's definitely given what they said it would give. Okay, bye guys! Welcome back to another vlog. We are at brunch, my favorite, and there is a dog running around. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> there is a dog running around. Um, I haven't been here in a minute, so I'm super excited. I do not know what I'm going to get, so I'm going to figure out what I'm going to get. My scent of the day is Fenty. I hope you guys can hear me, but my scent of the day is Fenty, and um, I have on the Chanel... D1 body mist, so I guess I'm mixing them together. It's kind of good. Why is my hair giving very brown vibes? Anyways, yeah, I need to dye it black. So I'll let you know we're gonna start with some bread and butter, and of course, I have a coffee coming. coffee and they brought out vanilla syrup because I want to make it myself and then they brought out creamer and you guys this coffee smells so good it is so strong so <laughs> you already know I'm about to be <laughs> very hyper okay I already told you when it comes to a pot of coffee she's going to have it I just finished shooting, getting some content, so I'm super, super excited. And now we are gonna head out. 
girl, fix yourself up. The food was amazing here, so I will see you guys at the next stop. It's dark, I can't be seen, so we are leaving. I don't know where we left off in the vlog, but let me tell you guys what happened. Okay, first of all, the whole vlog was on my phone. And I'm not really good with vlogging on my phone, per se, really, but not really, but really, if you follow, just hit the like button. If you don't, hit the subscribe. It doesn't matter, guys, it doesn't. Just hit a button. Anyway, so the whole vlog was on my phone. I pride myself on being very prepared, very organized. I got up really early this morning, and I was packing a bag, right? Because I knew what... The assignment was, is what I should say. I was gonna get some content after brunch for this brand that I'm doing a collaboration with. So I'm like, oh, I'll get some content. I'll pack my camera, I'll pack my extra batteries, I'll pack all this extra stuff. And so I had my bag ready to pack, right? So we get there, wait, hold on a second. My lips, eyes get dry whenever I start talking to you guys. Anyway, so we get here, we get to the restaurant, we get to the place, and I'm like, or in the car, rather. I was like, oh my gosh, my guy's like, what? I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot camera he's like what I'm like I forgot the camera so I forgot the camera so that's why I was vlogging with my phone I don't know how the quality is gonna come out how anything is gonna come out I have to put it together I do not have an iPhone you guys I have the Samsung 10 Android I don't even know who is by uh, whatever Samsung Galaxy 10 plus is what I have and I have all other Mac products like my laptop is Mac my iPad is Mac like my guy has iPhone everybody around me has an iPhone I am like the only one with Samsung because of the simple fact that I don't know. I just, I just still have it, okay? So I can't airdrop the footage in. It's always like trying to pull it from my phone, put it on some Google Drive, and then put it in the computer. So I don't know how it's going to come out, so I don't know what we're going to have. So anyways, let me tell you what happened. So nonetheless, the whole bit of me telling you that was that I forgot my camera. Okay, that's not why we're here. Here's why we're here. So you guys, we're at brunch, right? And I'm sitting there, and I told you, I admire women who just dress really classy, really sophisticated, very sexy, you know, but still in a very classy, elegant way, right? So we're sitting there at brunch, and I'm looking over the menu. What am I going to get? You know, um, what, um, you know, I like to start with an appetizer, wada, wada, wada. So I was asking the server, like, like, you know, what do you recommend? Blah, blah, blah. I always talk to everybody like they're my friends because that's, how, that's just how I am. I talk a lot and I talk to everybody. So I'm there having a conversation with a guy. He and I are going back and forth. He's recommending this. I'm saying that. So I'm like, okay. So then as I come up and lock eyes, the whole table over here is just staring at me. And so I thought they were staring at me because I was vlogging on my phone. You know, sometimes people do that. They don't understand the whole world of vlogging. So they're like, what the heck are you doing? Like, is she trying to take my picture? I'm like, never. I am vlogging. This has nothing to do with you. Sorry if I, you know, made you feel that way. So anyways, I'm minding my own business, vlogging, getting the menu, you know, getting the scope of the restaurant, everything like that. And so this woman walks past and I stop mid track and I'm looking at her and I'm like, oh my gosh, because she was walking really like with a walk. It wasn't her, what caught me more than her outfit, more than anything, it was her walk. She walked with such confidence and such, I am somebody and with her head held high excuse you on my phone again but not snooty just held held high like you know she she was walking with a purpose she was walking like she knew and i love that when i see a woman like that that just exudes that like that i'm like oh yeah i want to sit at the table with her i need to get at that kind of table so anyway she's walking and i turn around and i'm staring at her and i was just like mesmerized because i was like this woman has got it going on like she has it totally together she had on like a cardigan sweater it was like black and white or cream and, and black my favorite colors she had on a nice black set of I don't know if they were leggings or trousers they were like a pant they were not a legging because they weren't tight but they were a pant and then she had on a nice um like a black more of a fitted um like bodysuit underneath of some sort you guys this was all in the matter of about 25 30 seconds I kid you not that I had scoped all this her hair was pulled up and back and the sleekest bun ever so chic she had a pair of um hoop earrings on but they were like crusted let me show you they look like hers look like this they look something like this is about the size she had on as well maybe a teeny weeny weeny bit bigger right so she had those earrings on and I'm looking and I'm like oh my gosh this woman has got it going on her skin was beautiful her hair was very chic she had makeup on but it was very lightly done but you can totally see like the bronzer or whatever on the cheek to hollow out the cheekbones her face was snatched and pulled back and then she had on these oversized sunnies they were gold so they totally caught my attention and I think she had on some type of trainers I couldn't make it down to her feet fast enough because I couldn't get past her face her outfit her hair her jewelry her aesthetics everything 
I don't even know what bag she had, if she had a bag. So as I'm turning around, remember I told you about the group of people over here that were staring at me that I thought they were staring at me. And so then the lady and I lock eyes as the lady that was walking was walking back this way. First she walked this way. And I'm like, okay. And I stared at her and I was like, oh my God, I told my guy, that's the type of women I like. I said, do you see that? Do you see how classy she's dressed? Do you see how sexy she looks? I couldn't smell her, you guys. I don't know what she was wearing. I could not smell her. I was not close enough. I was close enough, but I, I couldn't even wrap my mind around her fragrance. I was just mesmerized by her outfit, her how she she looked how powerful she walked and how she just command the room and she walked past I was like yes darling I'm doing this literally right so I turn back over as she's walking back out this way and this table over here the lady locks eyes with me and she's looking at me and I'm looking at her and she kind of gives me like a little smirk of a smile like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know but I didn't I, I didn't read it I did not read it I was like oh okay well she's not offended she doesn't think I'm filming her because she gave me a little smirk of a smile and then my guy goes that's JLo and I'm like what <laughs> he was like, that's why they're looking at you, that lady that you're stared at, that's J-Lo. And I was like, oh my God, I had no idea. You guys, I had no idea. I didn't know it was J-Lo. All I knew was that she caught my attention. Copy that. Oh, she had my attention. Copy that. Okay, I was like, oh my gosh, you look amazing. She just radiate class, sophistication, money. I've been here before. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. And I was just like, that? That's it. That That's the kind of stuff I'm interested in. Those are the type of women I love to sit at the table and learn things from or just observe or how they're dressing. Just, I mean, she just brought it. She just shut it all down fully clothed. And I thought that was so uber, uber sexy. So yeah, that was the story time of today. I was staring at JLo and had no idea who I was staring at. The table over here who I thought was staring at me because I was vlogging or filming, they could care less that I was doing that. They were looking back towards my table because that's where JLo was. And I had no idea it was JLo. I just thought it was this beautiful woman, which it was a beautiful woman, but I mean, I didn't know it was a celebrity, a star, whatever you call them. But yeah, so JLo, she looks how she looks in real life. I mean, I mean, on camera, she even better, so tiny, but she was very together. And I was like, girl, yes. That's what I said when she walked past. I was telling my guy, I was like, yes. That right there, that's what I like. That's what I like. So, um, yes, JLo, if you happen to see this video, girl, you were out there just doing it for the growls. You made however old she is, 50, whatever you guys. She looked at least like 29, 30, 32, 34, 35. Now, I wasn't in her face. She had sunnies on. I can't tell you how her under eyes looked and all that. But from back to front, front to back, she was snatched. She was clean. She was um, chic. She was glamorous. She was confident. And yes. Those are the type of women that I like to see. They make me very excited. So anyways, yeah, so that was that. Today's fragrance of the day that I wore, I shared with you guys. Like I said, I don't know how much I got because it was on my phone. But I did wear Fenty, um, Tangerine. I think, is it Tangerine in here? I don't know. Blueberry, Mandarin, something citrusy. Um, it was good. It was really good. I had a ton of fragrances on because I wore this out. But then I was shooting a campaign for another brand, for another uh, fragrance. And it was this one here. I don't know if I've shared this with you guys already or not. But in case I haven't, this is the one that I was shooting. This is by The Harmonist. Um, oh my gosh, you guys. I have to tell you this too because you're probably wondering. Girl, what is wrong with you? So I ordered a French press <laughs> of coffee. And I ordered just a small pot. And I drank basically the whole pot by myself so oh my gosh I am on like I'm normally on two cups of you guys I had don't judge me either don't at me please don't at me and don't judge me it was a long day okay I had like four and a half cups of coffee I drank nearly the whole entire french press of coffee it was so good that coffee was so rich so strong I think I got a little bit of footage of it but I'm just reiterating everything just in case the footage doesn't come out I'll try not to say the same thing twice and make it redundant but um I definitely have to show you that clip because the coffee was mm, chef's kiss it was so good but anyways back to this fragrance so this is what I wore today as well as Fenty this this is called Sacred Water. This is by The Harmonist. This is what it looks like. It's called The Harmonist. The name of the fragrance is Sacred Water. It is really, really good. It's beautiful. It's calming. It's more um, marine, fresh, aquatic. It's going to be beautiful for spring, beautiful for summer. It's going to give you about a six to four hour wear. It's really, really good. I absolutely love it. So thank you so much to The Harmonist for sending this over. I absolutely love it. I did receive this, you guys, in PR. And it's a really good fragrance. I'm going to leave all the information down in the description box below. I love that restaurant. It was so nice. They had all these beautiful pictures of Marilyn Monroe. It was like old Hollywood. Wolfgang Puck just knows how to deliver. So it was a really good. My experience there was absolutely amazing. It was a beautiful hotel in Bel Air. And you know, I love all the Ritz and Fancy and Ooh La La. And I had way too many cups of coffee, you guys. I can totally feel that coffee. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get undressed, take the makeup off. You guys, this is the new unit that I did get from Hair VV. Um, I still need to take it over to my hairdresser and have her dye it black because right now it's like this um off black kind of like a 
dark, dark, dark brown. And you know, I don't do dark brown hair. I need to do, um black hair but actually i really like this unit it has a little bit of layers in it so it's kind of framing my face somewhat i could cut it a little bit shorter but you know i don't really know i'd rather just you know work with it a little bit play with it and then see how i like it but it is good i mean they made it really good to fit your head and all i did you guys i did it all myself i was so excited i have a whole video on that as well coming out i did the whole thing myself i cut the lace off and normally i take my units over to my hairdresser and she cuts the lace off and she does all that because i am new to this i am not true to this but it has been very helpful for my hair because my hair is just thriving and shining underneath and it's just braided and conditioned it's growing and i'm like oh my gosh now it's getting even thicker so i don't know i wanted to put this on for a protective style uh last year in march i believe i switched over to units because i wanted to give my hair a break i didn't want to do a sew-in because i didn't want to leave any leave out i didn't want to do anything like that because i just felt like that might um caused heat damage which it did to my hair originally from leaving pieces out it caused heat damage so i just wanted to give my hair a complete break no heat no um you know curling irons flat irons flat press steam press whatever it's called silk press i don't want any of that i'm like just put it away and so then you know i kept seeing the girls and a couple of my uh, sister cousins were talking about units and you know pieces wigs whatever you call them and i was like you know what i'm gonna give it a try it's not my favorite i will be honest with you because no matter what i don't care if it's hd lace um so it down uh soak it gel it whatever the part that gets me is this part right here because it's like no matter what it's it's close to your your skin color or how your real scalp would be but under these lights it just be looking like weird sometime like what in the world is that it looks very different on camera than it does in real life in real life it looks like okay it's believable somewhat don't get too close don't ever get too close <laughs> but um on camera sometimes it's like what in the world but for the sake of my hair just taking a huge break for a, a year it'll be a year in march i'm super excited i was gonna take it out and rock my hair for valentine's day because i wanted to do a high ponytail i wanted to do that for christmas but it doesn't really look like we're gonna be i don't know i may still do it i may not i haven't decided yet but that's what i have for my hair so hair update my hair is doing really really good and i'm super excited so if you're thinking of something to give your hair a break this would be something that i would highly recommend i can you know recommend it i've been wearing it for almost a year all of the units um that i have worn have been by hair vv there was this one other unit that i did have i didn't really love it so i never mentioned anything about it because i just i didn't love it and i don't want to share anything with you guys that i don't really love i do have a discount code for hair vv as well i always leave all the units that i'm wearing inside of the description box so make sure you check that out if you ever want to know you guys i am seriously like <laughs> talking 55 miles per hour i'm like oh my gosh i should have not had all that coffee and what time is it oh it's 6 17 it's already 6 17 at night and i had all that coffee i'm gonna go downstairs watch sex in the city did i tell you guys about that movie we watched last night oh my gosh it was so good if i could think of the name i'll put it across the screen or i'll put a picture up highly recommend watching that movie it was really different for me i would watch it again because it was so good it was really really good um it was kind of like i don't know make-believe I was trying to picture myself what would I do I'm trying to say this without giving the movie away and I don't know if I would have did what he did I think I would have rather just go the other way if you've watched this movie leave me your thoughts on it down below don't forget to leave me your scent of the day I hope you all are doing well if you are enjoying the vlogs please give this video a huge thumbs up do not forget to leave a comment you guys I love chatting with you when you don't leave a comment I don't know if you liked it I don't know what fragrance you're wearing for the day I don't know how you're doing so leave me a comment you can always say hi how you doing your fragrance of the day what's going on with you a prayer request whatever the case is just leave a comment in the comment section below do not forget to come over and say hi on instagram i'm gonna go chill because i had way too much coffee and i'm gonna go sip some water because it is enough okay until next time you know the drill be blessed stay fit and definitely stay fabulous thanks for watching guys bye